Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And this week, uh, I thought I would kill two birds with one stone and film my video blog whilst walking home in the dark. Unfortunately, this has taken several takes, and so now I'm aimlessly wandering around the streets of Clevedon, hoping I don't bump into anyone, whilst my hand gets increasingly cold. So I'll get on with the thought. It's a quite simple thought. Not particularly original, but quite fundamental. And it's a, impressed itself upon me with all the force of a rebuke. Basically, I've uh, realised that, actually, all this emphasising of radical discipleship isn't a particularly good thing if I don't also emphasise from time to time the radical grace that funds and guarantors, guarantees um, the discipleship which I so desperately want to establish in my life. If I don't have the life of God in me, if I don't abide in the vine, then discipleship is just going to wither on that vine um, and just be a dry human work. It's the age-old thing of uh, grace not works. And, and so I thought it'd be good to remind myself and you of that this week, that actually, if we really want to be radical disciples, then we need to be open and willing to receive God's radical grace. And that sounds that's actually easier said than done, because human nature is that we, we don't want to go anywhere near radical grace. We want to do it in our own strength, thank you very much. We want to get um, a little medal on our lapel, and we want to feel like we've done it in our own strength. But actually, it's all down to God. And so today, I thought I'd just, uh, or tonight, or this morning, whenever I po post this, I thought I'd just... Uh, underscore that and emphasize it and say why not this week open yourself to receiving God's radical grace and you in a fresh it's wonderful